Hi, my name is Rob. I'm the owner of BlogSlammer.com and uh, the various Blog Slammer, Slammer applications I'm selling. I'm about to release Site Slammer, which has been in release candidate phase for the last three months, and it's about to enter the full release phase. Um, what Site Slammer does is it generates uh, sites with a click of a button. Uh, it will basically, you select the RSS feed, it will create the HTML pages, the linking structure, everything having to do with, with a basic site. Uh, basically, to create a Site Slammer site, you need to uh, start off with a seed article or seed document. Basically, what this is, it's used for um, uh, generation of content. Block Slammer programs have a content generation algorithm that takes these seed documents and generate content based on template commands used in in your templates. Um, always, it's always good to use a, a article that is related to the niche you're building because what it will do, it will take uh, Keywords and such that that are used in the original article, it will make them. It will regenerate them a little bit to make them unique, and, and it will um, make the article, make the new sites uh, pages look more uh, um, natural. So the second part of a posting job is a template. Basically, what a template is, it defines exactly how you want your pages to look. Um, this template is a pretty large template because this is a template for a full HTML page using um, uh, a very nice style here that makes a, that will make the site look nice. Um, what you see here, uh, the templates can have plain, can have real text, whatever you want to put. Basically, this is what your page is going to look like. And you can inject blog slammer commands to them. Um, this line here, the title tag, will put the site title, which we'll define when we get the site started, dash, with a dash here, and then it'll put um, the uh, our title of the current RSS feed that that of the current RSS feed item that is building the page in question. Um, so this will be different for each page that's created. And as you scroll down, you can see more HTML. And then finally, we get to the meat of the uh, page. Uh, basically, these four lines of code, uh, four lines will create uh, two paragraphs plus add a whatever the source feeds RSS description is. The first line here. Um, use called uses a block slammer uh, command called RSS title. What that does, uh, uh, that basically just pulls the current RSS item um, that that is being used to create the page, and then it pulls its title and it replaces it with this. The next line is a paragraph tag with RSS description put in place. This will put the literal um, description of the source feeds RSS item for the page in question. Then we have two uh, content generation paragraphs here. The, this paragraph command, basically what it does is it creates, auto-generates a paragraph based on the seed document. It injects any item you want to inject, which is located in this pr little parameter here, and it will inject it exactly between minimum and maximum number of times. In this example, is a, we're, we're injecting a blog slammer command called previous page ex exactly one time. Um, previous page, what it does is it gets the title of the previous page, creates a URL link, um, um, URL link to it, uses the title of the previous page as the anchor text, and basically this will put a, a link in your um, in your um, in this paragraph for the previous page. And I got one more paragraph down here having to do with the next page. This does the same thing except it's pointing to the next page generated. So. Um, Basically, page, uh, your sites are created based on source RSS feeds. Uh, I'm using one from eBay right here, as you can see. Um, it's basically an eBay feed that where the RSS description would be the bid, I the picture of the uh, item up for auction, and the uh, bid link, buy now link, and uh, add to watch list link. Uh, when you add a feed, you uh, basically you find the source feed, whatever it is. Uh, let's say this was an eBay feed search for iPhones or something like that. It, that that where I, where I highlighted right now was SA title equals. It would have said iPhones on that from the, getting the feed directly from eBay. When you use a uh, um, site slammer, you should you need to replace that um, that literal string with a, a param with a kind of a, a blog slammer command SS for search string. And what th this is used for is when you get to site generation um, jobs, all you got to do is enter a new keyword and you'll get brand new RSS based items to create pages from. So that that's the RSS feed. Um, so here we go. We're going to cr create a site real fast. Um, 
Um, the first uh, section here is the basic site information. It asks for a site title. We'll call this uh, women's, uh, let me click here, women's shoes online. And this is what I, I, I explained in the template. There is a site title blog slammer command. This will be replaced any time it comes across that in the template. The URL is a URL of the home page of this uh, uh, where you're going to be putting the site. This is used when it, it, it also, it, when it finishes the job, it creates a um, it creates the RSS feed for this site so that you can ping into blog aggregators so that you can get the site indexed fairly quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and um, enter the U source URL here and I'm hosting it at a free site right, where as you can see. Um, okay, the ne next item is a home page name. Basically this is what the, the, without the extension the name of the home page is when you go just to the site without a page name. Um, index is usually the name for this value, you can use index default. Um, there are a few other pages, and you can go to your web host to make a custom name. But uh, we're using index for this because uh, that's, that's standard. And the next thing is, what do you want your file extensions to be? They can be PHP uh, for for a scripting type of site generation, or they can be just static HTML pages or HTM pages, and they can also be ASP and ASPX pages if you want to do uh, Microsoft Server scripting. Um, and then next uh, item is uh, how, what do you want your file names to look like? Um, basically, you can enter anything you want here literally, uh, but um, I have there are four suggestions here. I'm going to use the third one here. Basically, it says I want it to be named main keyword dash RSS title. The main keyword is basically um, one of my keywords I enter here. I'm going to I'm going to enter in uh, high heels. And um, th and that would be for for that feed. It would be replaced. Main that would replace the main keyword command. And it this file names would be basically your main keyword dash whatever the title of the current RSS item is. And then we have uh, what do you want your page titles to be to be named? Um, and this is for the, the page titles for when you when you inject a previous page a next page blog slammer command. It uses this for the anchor text of the. Um, um, link that it creates. So I'm going to use again main keyword dash RSS title uh, for the page name. Um, actually I'm just going to use RSS title for that and and that's what the page title is. And the final item in site information is what is the name of the R RSS uh, 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 the RSS file you're going to expose to the outside. I'm just going to name it rss.xml it's going to be this file you're going to send to your uh, feed burning programs or sites. And um, using an RSS feed, it allows you to get it published and let other people pull from it and, and get, you more, get you more links. So that's basically, basically a site information tab. Now, fi now I'm, at the, I'm almost done ready to create the job. I've got to select the seed document. And then I've got to select the template, which is the one I showed you. I'm going to create it from RSS, uh, create it uh, with the RSS feed. So you check on that, and I'm going to select the uh, RSS feed. Um, sh the I call it named it shoes, but it really is just a generic eBay RSS feed. Um, and um, right here, the RSS title replace will will find anything in here and replace it with anything here. And that's if there's a footprint on the RSS title that you don't want to be associated with your site. Now, I'm, and now it's almost it's just about ready to go. Okay, so now now I'm ready to start the site. I'm going to first show you what um, the directory I'm going to use to put the pages in. I have all the style sheets associated with this with this site right here, uh, and I also have the images that are going to make the site look nice. Um, so I'm, now I'm ready to go. I'm going to come over here, click Generate Site. It asks for a directory where to place these files. I'm going to place them here click OK and there you go right now what it's doing is thinking it's going to the RSS feed of eBay looking for high heels and it's going to give me um, it's going to give me um, for every item it finds it's going to create a page um, th it takes sometimes it takes a little time to do this depending on the network connection but you can see this bar going meaning the, the URLs are being generated it's done right now it's telling me these are all my generated URLs and let me bring bring up that directory again and there you go here are the pages I'm going to go ahead and click on the index page real fast um, and you'll see this is what the site looks like it, it, it basically uses a nice template to create this site based on the eBay RSS feed you see the uh, RSS description right here 
you see the RSS title that was in the template right here. Look at the title of the page is exactly as I asked it to be named, the site title dash RSS title. And you also see the two paragraphs created down here. This one has, a, I think, its previous page. And this, and if I go back, and this one has the next page. And as I keep going, you're going to see how the linking, um, the, the, how the site slammer allows you to uh, pretty much um, um, give a nice linking strategy to your site, so that when you start getting links into it, it will it will be indexed very quickly and remain in the index. Uh, that does it for right now for site slammer. I hope you have a good day, and thanks for watching.